I ain't hear her. <laughs> she did that for a reason. I ain't do that. If I did that, she wouldn't be with me. I ain't here. Wagwan guys, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. I cannot complain myself. I wanted to talk about this uh, situation with Bad Baby that's been going on. She posted a picture of her eye. I had a video of it. I'll link it somewhere, you know, here at the end of the video if you guys want to go check that out. But um, Levon, that's the name of her boyfriend, baby father, right? and basically he made a video that y'all just seen right now he came out and he was saying like no he did not hit her uh even though there's video you know i'm not gonna post a video here i got the steel shots in there but i won't post a video and basically bad baby posted that to her ig story which she deleted right and oh my goodness it's one of those things where you know it's super hot and cold right one of the things that you have to keep an eye on okay like you have to keep an eye on situations like that because soon they'll be deleted they'll be taken down right and then like if you don't have any proof you know it's like what grounds then do you have right to to like convict this man or to help this woman who's posting this stuff but then taking it down i don't know it could be because you know her abusive boyfriend baby father's telling her to do it it could be because she Hey, there's situations where women abuse themselves. Anyway, right? He comes out and he says, look, I did not abuse that lady. I didn't hit that lady. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. He comes out and he says, no, I didn't hit that lady, right? That's what he says. I didn't hit that lady. And, okay. The only thing is there's video of him, like, putting hands on her, right? And, like if he didn't hit her he definitely like pushed her he snatched this lady up okay he snatched this lady up <coughs> excuse me he he definitely snapped and i felt so sorry for her like you know what i'm saying because she's this little she's little itty bitty <laughs> she's a little itty bitty lady and this man is he's not the, a big guy you know he's not too bigger than what she is but he's he's snapped <laughs> It's not funny, but he's snatching this lady. You know what I'm saying? Like she did something to this to this young man. You feel me? He's putting hands on her like that. And I'm like, there's video evidence of you putting hands on her. So you feel me? Like I'm lost. You know, in response to the video that he put, it's like, but there's video. I'm not, I'm not, you know. I'm not trying to convict this man if he didn't, you know, if he maybe pushed her and she started falling and doing all this stuff. I don't think there's, I mean, I don't know when the bruising occurred. You feel me? So I really can't say, but I will say it looks very bad. Nothing's happened. I don't think there's been a police report. There hasn't been any reportings on that. And domestic violent case, uh, cases, you know, you, nobody has to really call and make the you know if, if if police are see something like that happen they automatically should like they launch an investigation right she doesn't have to bring charge even even if she would have got on the horn and called the cops when that had happened they would automatically they she wouldn't have to do anything other than just report on it you know what i'm saying because the state then takes domestic cases over right the state is going to prosecute you you know she doesn't have to right but anyway i'm not saying that to like get anybody you know landed of course this is something that's you know it's, it's in the media you feel me and at some point in time like when things spill over into the public arena you know it's it, things kind of you know they got out of control you feel me and like you can tell this guy is like on a different type of time he looks very different like pictures that would have been released and taken of him they would have looked completely even videos just completely different now you can kind of see him he, he kind of looks you know you know there's some elements to him you know some he looks a little bit sickly himself you feel me and uh, you know in the tmz clip they had there but um you know I want to lastly say this, you feel me? And not just seem like I'm trying to thump on a situation. Cause she may be in a relationship where, you know, she's torn. 
she's going back and forth and you know she likes him this is the baby father but he's beating this chick you know what I'm saying he's putting hands on this lady you feel me in the situations like that man and she's that Dude, you get a man beating on a hitting on a woman, dude. It's, you know what I'm saying? Even if a man was like fighting a man, it's a possibility that one of y'all is going to pass away. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you see. It was a situation where this lady is beat. This lady was beating her child. This was like a two-year-old, three-year-old. She's sitting up here beating this kid. And I was like, oh my, it was like a, I don't know, Latin lady had to be. It, she wasn't white or black. I think she was Latin, if I'm not mistaken. She was, and it happened a while ago. She was beating her son, I believe. I believe it was a, a boy. And it was, they, they caught it. Like at a, she was at some hotel and I guess he wasn't following or listening to her very well. And she was just it, it was it was too much. It was ex, it was very, very excessive. And somebody called in on it. Boom. State took it over. The kid ain't had to press. No, you know, what I'm saying all they did was got on the horn and called the cops. And they're like, hey, this lady is beating this this little child. When sometimes when you're in situations, you can't really, you can't see the wrong in it because it feel, and even maybe the, the person, the victim, maybe they felt like they deserved it to a certain degree. I'm telling you, right? Stockholm syndrome, right? Man, bro. When some people see things like that and they can actually see, hey, man, you know, this is, this is wrong. You can't, especially, you can't be doing that, especially in front, in front of me. You know, right? People see things like that. Well, anyway, they ended up giving this lady like three years of probation. And then she gets to like keep her son. I was like, oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? I I, I mean, I'm just, you know, I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You feel me? You see situations where there people people have done nothing wrong people decide not to breastfeed and they're or they're they're going they're, excuse me they're not going to give their baby formula they're going to maybe breastfeed and then their children get taken away from them at, at the hospital cps you know what i'm saying you feel me any type of reasons you know what i'm saying you don't have a car seat we taking your kid you know what i'm saying yeah, I wasn't even driving. We, you don't have a car seat, right? I've seen it, but uh, this is this is this is what I was gonna say, man. A lot of times, you know, I it could be whatever, right? Money, fame, whatever you want to say, right? Sometimes, you know, man, you just gotta do the right thing. You feel me? You know, what I'm saying you have to do the right thing because even in this situation, I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't trade i don't care if it was money fame whatever i would not trade places with uh with, with lv right with with her boyfriend just wouldn't do it because like you know one of the most important things as a man that you have is your name you know what i'm saying you don't want to mess your name up you're going to be known for like putting hands on women and this this lady is like extremely like undersized and you're rocking this lady you know what i'm saying you feel me is because you know in turn inversely you know her words must carry like you know they must carry a lot of weight for him to get him out of his body and out of his mind like that where he's running up on this lady like that you know and uh you know i'm not over here trying to lay claim and protect and do all that i'm simply just you know speaking my mind on this topic because it's interesting to me at least and i wouldn't trade i say that because i wouldn't trade places with him you don't want to mess up your name you do not want to mess that up right and um you know 
I feel I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for her too. They picture together hugging each other and a lot of stuff like that. Situations like that is very sticky. You can easily slip and fall into a death trap. I I I, I can't explain until you and, and tell you every little detail, but you started wrong. You started off wrong by putting your hands on her, and then y'all trying to make that work. And this lady is like very beloved. You know, I'm just saying. It could be a situation where you slip and fall, you do something wrong again, like you've done in the past, and things just don't work out for you, right? Um, man, it was something else I wanted to say. You know, everybody can get sad. Anybody can get depressed. You know, it may be depression. You know what I'm saying? Some people suffer from depression, right? And I'll say this. You know what? You know, sometimes you have to accept yes right you have to accept some other times you have to you know just have the gratitude for like the position that you're in in life you know what i'm saying and like things are going well you feel me and you know like just talking on the, like the sad piece or whatever right like i clean my uh, my other apartment this is like the last month because I, I moved from that apartment already i you know i went over there i vacuumed I, you know, I kind of slept in this weekend. I was, I was supposed to do a lot more work than what I, than what I actually did. But I talked to my father and he was like, yeah, man, you, you know, you need to, sometimes you have to treat yourself. Sometimes you have to like, you know, you work so much, you, you know, you work, you work, you work, you work. And then like, at the end of the day, what are you going to be working for? You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be keep, you're going to keep doing the same thing. You have to enjoy you know the fruits of your labor you have to enjoy it and you have to re you relax you have to do that too right and that was the point that was coming across in that conversation i had with my father right and you know i'm also selling my car you feel me <laughs> you know like when martin or like, you know, one of those tv shows like when martin like walks inside his his apartment or whatever and like he's leaving and it's like the end of the season or whatever he turns the light off it was one of those moments today you feel me and i because i cleaned up everything so i get my deposit back of course i already talked to the lady and then whatever she's like yeah you, we're gonna mail you your deposit and i overpaid on rent like i overpaid like by 400 bucks so they're sending that they should send that i won't don't quote me on that but they should be sending me that too and i'm also you know because my my insurance is super it, it, my my insurance is high so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to sell my old car you feel me and i had a lot of great memories in that <laughs> i had a ton of great memories in that apartment as well as the car dude i'm talking about oh man it's 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 depressing it's sad dude it's saddening you know what i'm saying but even with that you feel me even with that to link it in right you know even though you you may go through like you know those emotions or whatever you feel me you know you have to you have to you have to have self-control man you it, it's a must and a lot of a lot of times you know you can sit up you can sit up high on a perch you know what i'm saying and you can be like you know what and just look down with the hawk's eye on situations you can be you know and, and and be happy about the situation you're in but also be able to learn from other people's mistakes and other people's situations where you could take full advantage you know what i'm saying of your position you know what i'm saying and that and that is this situation you feel me that's the situation i said all of that to get to this is a situation where people could like actively learn from some people see things like that and it's just one another it's another story in the tabloids they flip through the pages and and this is not normal this you know what i'm saying this is i don't care how frequently this happens this is still this is something that is not um uh normal you know what i'm saying and people you know even though you may see more and more of it you know what i'm saying this is not just like a normal behavior that it should be accepted in every household fighting your you know what I'm saying the mother of your child it's not but listen man i i, I try to tie all that in for y'all uh check this out man listen if you like this type of content you should definitely consider subscribing to my youtube channel thumb up the video like the video it helps this video get out and reach more people and it also helps my channel get out and reach more people which i highly appreciate 
So, hey, guys, listen. Peace, man. I'm out of here.